and Prissy. Here we go, y'all. What's good? What's good? This is your host, Swag Boy, from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode, Takashi disrespects Pop Smoke and Nipsey Hustle. Check this out, man. For those who don't know, uh, a few days ago, Takashi made a post about saying how he goes with security because he ain't about to be killed like Nipsey Hussle getting kicked all in the face while you're dead. He also said he's going to have security with him at all time because all your favorite rappers is dead. That's what that was Takashi 6 9 words. Now this is how I feel about all that stuff and how he said it, man. This is how I feel about it. I feel that he was very insensitive about the way he talked about Nipsey Hussle and Pop Smoke. The way he's making references to him. You know what I mean? These are two people, unfortunately, who got killed in gun violence. And the way he talked about them very insensitive. You know what I'm saying? He showed no remorse. Even though he had nothing to do with it, he showed no remorse. Really didn't care. Very insensitive. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel he should have spoke on those two guys that lost their life like that. Takashi Center did that. However, I do think he had a point of what he said. He basically told y'all, look, I know y'all want to get me. I know there's dudes out there that want to shoot me. I know there's dudes out there that want to put my face on a t-shirt. I'm going to have security with me at all times. Because he was basically responding to someone or people saying how he always with security. Like, how you talking all this shit? You always with security. He said, look, I'm a rapper. I got security, which I understand. And I also think rappers should be, should have security with them at all times. Especially if you a high profile secu- uh, a rapper. Because too many times I hear rappers brag. They go to the extent of bragging about walking around with their jewels on no security. I hear rappers say this all the time. I be out here in the streets. I got my jewels on. I'm iced out. No security. Like, why? I don't think you're acting responsible if you a high-profile rapper and you out here with no security. Let me tell you why. Because if you a high-profile rapper, that means not only do you take care of yourself, but you take care of others. If you a high profile rapper, then you are the bag. So you are your own asset and you're an asset to others. So when it becomes, so when it comes to you being an asset, you must protect the bag. And some of these rappers who don't have security with them, they wind up getting robbed. Unfortunately, they wind up getting killed. They wind up being set up. But my message to Takashi is that you really need to watch how you talk, son. Because although you might have security out here in these motherfucking streets, let me keep it real with you. Just because you got security don't mean you can't get touched. If you from the streets, you know anybody could get touched. Anybody. So, I don't want Takashi thinking that just because he got top flight security, armed guard security, don't give yourself a false sense of comfort. 
Like, don't let that security make you feel that you're untouchable. Because all it takes is one security guard to get bribed or paid off by the right nigga. Somebody come up with the one Takashi security guards. Yo, how much he paying you? Shit, he paying me $10,000 $10, a week. I give you 20 to fall back. Shit, say no more. See, you gotta remember, son, Takashi. Just because you got security, it don't mean your security guards can't be bought. Your security guards could get bought. The motherfuckers that's protecting you don't always mean they loyal to you. So you gotta understand, it's just a job. We all saw what happened with presidents in the past. Presidents, they got secret service. A few times the president the, the president got hit, son. So if the president can get hit, what makes you think you can't get hit? Now, I understand you knowing, being aware that you have beef out here in these streets, so you taking the right precaution precaution measurements and having security. I get that. But don't let that shit go to your motherfucking head, son. Don't think for one second these niggas out here ain't militant. There's some militant motherfuckers out here, son. But my message to you other rappers, you need to take heed on some of the things Takashi said, man. I know you don't like the little nigga because he a rat. But you other rappers out there, you niggas who's on the come up, you niggas need to invest in some motherfucking security. I don't want to hear you rappers bragging about, yeah, I got the jewels on, I'm in the hood, I'm outside all day, and, and, and I don't got no security. Like, 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 I don't know what it is, it's, and only rappers do this, only rappers do this. I don't see R&B singers doing this shit, I don't see rock and roll uh, 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 singers and performers doing this shit, I don't see country music performers talking like this, it's only rappers saying this dumb ass shit, I'm outside with no security, nigga if you don't get your stupid ass some motherfucking security and shut the fuck up. See, that's the problem with you niggas. You niggas out here chasing the bag, knowing that you got haters, knowing that you got ops. But yet and still, you want to run around here with no security like shit sweet. You want to run out here with no security like everybody love you just because you think most people love you. It only take that one nigga that don't like you to give it to you, son. It only take that one nigga who hates you to do it to you. It only take one nigga. Only take one nigga to do some harm to you. And I don't see what the problem is. I don't see how having security makes you look like a punk. Especially when you're a celebrity. How does that make you a punk? I remember when Minister Farrakhan used to come to the hood with the Nation of Islam. Minister Farrakhan used to pull up to the venue at least with 50 uh, FOI niggas through the Islam niggas looking militant at least 50 niggas caravan of niggas I thought it looked powerful Capone Al Capone that nigga had security all the mafia guys, them niggas got security. So what makes you think them motherfuckers is fucking weak niggas? Them ain't no weak niggas. Now I can see if you with if if, if if everywhere you go you got police escort and all that shit. All right, that's a whole different story. But for you to have your own personal security, that is nothing to be ashamed of. So in closing. Message to all the rappers, 
all the up and coming rappers, all the niggas that's about to come up and get fame off this hip hop shit. I see all you niggas investing in these motherfucking jewelry. I see all you niggas investing in motherfucking cars, clothes, all this other shit. What you niggas need to do is invest in some motherfucking security, yo. Invest in some motherfucking security. Because it's not cool that we see so many rappers getting killed out here. Getting shot, getting robbed, getting carjacked. Move safe and move smart in these motherfucking streets. And I understand a lot of motherfuckers might love you and shit. But let me tell you something. Everybody don't love you, yo. A lot of people you might not know of want to see you fall. So when you out here in these motherfucking streets, try to move militant. That was today's episode of Like, Comment, Subscribe, and I'ma catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello.